Apple kicked off its WWDC annual developers conference in San Jose today. Here are the 14 biggest announcements from the keynote and why they matter. First up, Apple unveiled iOS 12, its latest mobile operating system. iOS 12 will be available on every Apple device that hosted its previous OS, making it the largest rollout of any Apple operating system. One of the biggest improvements is to Apple's augmented reality platform. ARKit 2.0 will feature improved face tracking, realistic rendering, 3D object detection, and shared experiences. Apple showed off a new measuring app, as well as a Lego experience that allows multiple users to build virtual cities together. In addition, Apple announced its own file format for AR called USDZ. This file format will create a more streamlined approach to AR and lets developers share 3D models across all Apple devices. An overarching theme of today's keynote focused on improving the performance and efficiency of Apple devices. Apple is claiming iOS 12 will speed up simple tasks such as opening your camera, accessing your keyboard, and opening apps. This is critical for users with older Apple devices who don't want to be left behind. Next up is Memojis, Apple's personalized update to last year's Animojis. Although Apple is late to the game on customizable avatars, it's clear that this is a feature that users want. Plus, now your Animojis can stick out their tongues. FaceTime also received an update. Now you can video chat with up to 32 people at once. But the real question here will be whether iOS 12 will be able to handle so many video streams converging at once. Apple also announced major updates to the Apple Watch OS. Apple showcased a variety of workout apps for activities like yoga, hiking, and biking. However, the most significant improvement to the Apple Watch is the automatic workout detection feature. Now, when your heart rate begins to rise, the Apple Watch will track your workout automatically. Also, you can now talk into your watch like a walkie-talkie to tap into your inner Dick Tracy. Apple put a lot of attention into the digital wellness of users this year. The more robust Do Not Disturb app lets you set time limits for when you can receive notifications, while the Screen Time app gives you reports on how much time you or your family are spending on certain apps. This also lets you set boundaries for the amount of time allowed on certain apps per day. Apple announced a new feature called Shortcuts for Siri that allows users to create their own custom features. For example, users can now say things like, I'm heading to the gym, and Siri could piece together a variety of fitness apps you use during a workout. This is a big move for Apple, which has repeatedly been criticized for having the weakest voice assistant compared to Alexa and the Google Assistant. Apple introduced Mojave, which brings in a ton of incremental updates. Dark mode dims most of the elements on the screen, and updates to Finder make it easier to organize and stack files intelligently. Overall, Mojave brings a fresh take to the desktop experience and helps users declutter their desktops efficiently. Apple's Mac App Store is also getting a complete overhaul. Everything is now divvied up into tabs, and a new Discovery tab will help users find editorial content around Mac apps instead of aimlessly searching for new developer tools. All of this will make it easier for Apple to better understand what people are looking for and how they can tailor the App Store experience to each user. The Apple TV also saw some significant upgrades, particularly when it comes to how users sign into apps. Instead of entering in a username and password for every app, your Apple TV will remember all of these logins if you're connected to your home Wi-Fi. Apple also made a significant audio upgrade to the Apple TV. TVOS 12 will now support Dolby's Atmos soundboard. The Dolby Audio upgrade makes the Apple TV the only streaming device to be both Dolby Atmos and version certified. Apple says CarPlay will now support third-party navigation and mapping apps like Google Maps and Waze. This is a nice quality of life improvement that might make users a little more interested in using CarPlay. That's a wrap on the Apple WWDC Keynote. Read more on TechCrunch.com.